And before we get into the word, I just like to um, remind us, especially from the prayer for Nigeria that we had this morning, that irrespective of what the world thinks, what people say, what people in power may be planning, God's plan for Nigeria and God's plan only will stand. God's plan for this country and God's plan only will stand. And the Bible says, I know the plans and the thoughts I have towards you, says the Lord. Plans of good, not of evil, to bring you to an expected end. Jeremiah 29, 11. God does not plan chaos and destruction for his people. Anywhere there is chaos and destruction, it is the enemy at work. The Bible says in John 10, 10, the thief comes not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Destruction is the hallmark of his activity. It's a sign that the enemy is at work. So everywhere you see destruction, you see chaos, things are out of order. God is not involved. The first introduction we have of God is Genesis 1. The Bible says the earth was chaotic, darkness everywhere. There was confusion. Then God said, let there be light. And the moment light showed up, everything began to set its place in order. God set order in place at creation. It means he's a God of order. Not a God of chaos. So everywhere we see chaos, destruction, violence, it is the enemy at work. And we declare as God's church here in Nigeria that the enemy will not prevail over Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. We said last Sunday and we said again, thus far has he come, no further shall he go. The peace of this country is, is our is our right as a people and as a citizenry. God gave it to us to enjoy. Are you understanding me? We don't have any other country under heaven. Anywhere you go to, you're a visitor there. If they want to give you green card, blue card, red card, yellow card, anyway, any card they give you, you are still a visitor there. Amen. And, and, and like we said last Sunday, as we said last Sunday, if God wants to move you out of Nigeria, it won't be because someone is chasing you out. If he wanted you in some other country, he would have orchestrated your birth to be in that country. Are you following me? Not somebody chasing you with a cutlass and a wood. No, sir. If God wants to move you out, he will move you by the leading of his spirit. Are you following me? By the leading of his spirit. His program for your life will orchestrate your movement to another place. Not some terrorist somewhere chasing you with cutlass and guns. And we give God praise for what is happening. We heard that last week, Iswap and Boko Haram, they turned on each other. It has not started. The confusion will keep multiplying in the camp of the enemy. That enemy, that even doesn't sound, doesn't sound alive. Yeah. Hallelujah. And don't join people to speak fear. Don't join people to speak anxiety. Always declare what you desire to see over this country. So look at the investments we have in this nation. As a people and as a church. Look at all the buildings and all the things that the church has put in place. Sir, we will leave it for who? I saw... A heartbreaking uh, picture on, online yesterday. I think in one of the Western countries, one of the European countries, Muslims went and bought a building that was used for a church before. And it is called the Mosque of Jesus Christ, the Son of Mary. Trust me, I, I, love, I love our Muslim brothers, but there are some people who are extreme in their beliefs. You know if a Christian, ah, <laughs> hello, sir, <laughs> wow, amen. If a Christian goes to kill somebody because a person does not believe in Christ Jesus, that's a fanatic. We don't kill people to believe what we believe. We share our faith, and if someone is convinced that our faith is true, they join us. Are you following me? It is not by force to worship God. Just as it's not by force to eat the food that your peop the people of your culture eat. Are you following me? You don't force people to eat your the food. I mean, if I come to your house and you serve me the food that we don't eat in my culture, you can't say, Pastor, if you don't eat this food, you are not a good visitor. Hello, sir. I will not be a good visitor. So it's not by force. So if a Christian begins to force people, say, you must worship my God or else I kill you, that's a fanatic. And we have those kind of people, extreme people, in the other religion. And those are the people who are adamant about tearing this nation apart, doing ethnic and religious cleansing at the same time, using bandits and using herdsmen and using um, terrorists at the same time to cause all kinds of mayhem. But we thank God. 
that there's a God who sits in heaven and oversees the affairs of man. We thank God. If it were for man alone, there would be no Nigeria. But because of God, I like what Reverend said last Sunday or two Sundays back. It is God that brought the nation together. He would determine when the nation should fall apart. And we have not heard him say so. Ah, we will keep enjoying peace. We will keep enjoying progress as a nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Nothing will tear this nation apart in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. The peace we have enjoyed is restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. And we declare that anyone who is orchestrating evil and fighting God's agenda for Nigeria, they are brought down to their knees in repentance or in surrender in the mighty name of Jesus.